Hey guys, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I want to help some people I've been seeing that are having issues with playing rendered animations. For some reason, the newer versions of Blender, I think 2.5 and later, do not have a built-in uh, video player. No idea why they did that, but it's a really easy fix. First, let's... Uh, we're into doing an animation and uh, see what happens without one. Okay, so first let's grab our cube and move it over there and press I. This inserts a keyframe and we're only going to change the location, so let's keyframe location. All right, now let's skip ahead 30 frames, about one second, and move this to here and press I location all right now let's make sure that our video ends at frame 30 all right and let's render the animation render animation shouldn't take long Coffee good. All right. Done. All right. Render, go up here to render and play rendered animation, and we get this message 2.63 doesn't support playback. Uh, so, what do we do? Well, first off, when you render an animation, make sure that it is not in PNG format like I did not remember to do. <laughs> some some programs are okay with this, but mostly video editing programs. I always either use this H.264 or MPEG or possibly AVI codec. Let's do this in H.264 and let's render the animation again because if I try to open this up as JPEGs, PNGs in any program, it's just going to bring up one picture. It's not going to know that it's a picture sequence. The old Blender player actually will work with that, and I'll show you how to direct this to that. That's one way to fix this, is to download a version of Blender 2.49, and then direct it there. That's what I did at first. Um, and let me show you how you do that. Uh, first off, if you want to download an older version of Blender, all you have to do is go open your browser, go to the blender.org website, click on download. All right, this brings up this. Uh, go to older versions. And Click this one right here. Yes, and it brings up the, all the versions. Okay, then you find the one you want, which is 2.49a. Click that, and then it will bring up a list of all the different systems and stuff. So you pick the one that you are using, like Windows EXE or Windows Zip. I prefer. I think a, a zip file would be better because then all you have to do is extract it to anywhere, your desktop anywhere and then direct the new Blender to the EXE file. This is very important. You're going to think that you need to direct it to the player. Let me show you. I know mine is in Program Files 2.49 right here. You're going to think that this is what you need to direct the new one to in this player. It's not. If you direct it there, it's just going to give you an error message. You have to do it to the EXE. Now let me show you what I mean by directing it. Press escape to get out of that render thing and go to user preferences. Okay, now you see this animation player under file. Just go to the file tab. It's set to 2.4. Now if I, to direct it to 2.4, I just uh, 
I know where it's at, so it's in Blender 2.4 right here, and then I direct it right here to the EXE, not the player. Okay, accept. Now, if I go up to Render and Play Rendered Animation, there, you know, the old 2.4 thing comes across, and that's really cool. I kind of like that. I don't know why they took it out, but uh, let me see. I had started using this thing called. Uh, Let's see what the name of it is, what program, because it's supposed to have like Video LAN. It's called VLC Media Player. It's supposed to like uh, be able to play just about any codec, I mean, or any type of video without having to download an ass load of codecs and stuff. So once you've done all that, it's say, okay, so I, I, I sent mine to a VLC player. Now, in order to send this to another player you have to click custom if you leave it at 2.4 i believe it gives you an error message and then you just you know you just uh set the directory that it's in vlc um, scroll down to the vlc exe right there except now go to render play rendered animation okay and put this on loop play so now it's just about exactly the same as the other one I actually think this one comes up a little faster and um, so there's that